Hello everybody, welcome to Long Live the Queen. We're gonna load the game and take a look how we're doing, uh, see if we can improve some skills. As I've been saying the entire week by now, if you hadn't seen any of the other videos that I've made this week, um, I don't have a lot of time this month, meaning I have to pre-record a bunch of stuff, meaning that the episodes are gonna be shorter as well. And for this game that might not be a big problem, because usually we tend to get stuck in trying to get those skills up, but it's not like it's super riveting gameplay that you can't tear yourself away from. But let's take a look at our skills. Uh, we didn't do much here last time, but I kind of want to finish up with some of these. We were doing this. Why don't we do some battlefield? Because that has a slight bonus and naval strategy as well to kind of bring them up a little bit. Last time we also wasted a whole bunch of time on... Uh, foreign intelligence, no, on internal affairs, because that was at 50 and these guys weren't over 25 yet, or at least not both of them. So we couldn't do the boost yet, which is terrible. But we're gonna do battlefield medicine and naval strategy, which is medicine and military. Because then I have them roughly around half, which is great. Battlefield and naval, and there you go. The strategy of staring at your naval. You learned that blood loss wastes life energy, who'd have thought? Bleeding should have been stopped or should be stopped through bandages, pressure, and elevation. You learned that minor burns should be cooled, washed, and gently wrapped to keep them clean, like a cut. Major burns and scalding such as boiling oil are untreatable on the battlefield. So we shouldn't get anywhere near scalding oil. You've unlocked a new outfit. Oh, that's the nice one. I'm gonna put that one on in a moment. The nurse one, I think it is. You study different kinds of ships, their names, designs, and the number of crew needed for each. You study different kinds of ships, again, their speed, maneuverability, and standard complement of weapons. And once again, a new outfit. Oh, we get to choose this time. Anything happening? Oh, Alice is here. My lady, there's a letter for you. Who sent this? It isn't signed. It appears to be a poem, describing you in a manner that is entirely inappropriate for a queen. Oh, it's that thing, of course. I what? With a squid? Well, that's hentai for you, I suppose. Uh, this is hilarious. That's actually pretty funny. There you go, we got a cheerful for that. Just then, an incredibly unlucky breeze swirls between the windows of your tower bedroom, tugging the paper out of your hands and off into the sky. You stick your head out the window to discover a poem caught and fluttering on the roof nearby. You can almost reach it. Uh, let's not do that, because I think that would be death, so ignore it. What's the worst that can happen? It blows off and someone reads it and laughs at you? That's better than breaking your neck. Indeed it is. Besides, if you're lucky, it will rain and wash the words away. Well, I wouldn't count on that, necessarily, but, you know. It might. You never know. Let's take a quick look. See, we're pretty cheerful right now, and we haven't exactly gotten... Uh, maybe we should get some of the for depressed if we want to be on this nice little line here. We're gonna get depressed, I think, from visiting here. Plus one afraid as well. Very good. Let's pay some respects to our mother. It makes us depressed. And let's take a look at our outfits. We've got two new outfits now. We have the uniform. Uh, okay, cool. And we have the nurse's gown. Boost medicine. Oh, we got this one last time as well. Let's take a look what skills we can get bonuses in today. Military is minus 0.2. Well, that's a lot, I guess. Intrigue as well. Well, we've got most of the stuff on this side except for Faith, so I think maybe we should work on that. We have a bonus on that. Let's go ahead and do some uh, divination. Why the heck not? In this outfit? I don't know. Which outfit do we want? I kind of like them, the, the this one. With the little black things around here. I like all of them, really, but still. I think I'll stick with this one for the time being. It gives us um, skill boosts in military, but that's not necessary right now. We need, we need an accounting outfit, actually. I think we should work on accounting. What do you think? Accounting? Let's just go for accounting in general. One accounting and one divination? Let's just do a little start in those two. Okay, so that would be economics and faith. So divination and accounting. Maybe we'll get a nice accounting outfit. That'd be awesome. Probably not though. We don't have enough skills in that. You study money lending and the controversies involved in charging interest. Usury. According to the Druids, one should always return more than one is loaned, or else the debt gave no value to the world. Um, Druids are wrong, because you can't give more back if there isn't more to give. Hmm. Well, that's kind of how the monetary system works these days. Money just kind of appears. Right, that's an aside. And I've got a new outfit. Okay, that's good. Our accounting outfit. We need to wear it. You learn that the gods cannot be forced to divulge information about the future and that the most powerful omens are those which arrive unexpectedly. Like surprises. Do you like surprises? 
My lady, there are letters for you, again. Another alert from Brioni. Why does she keep writing me? We were never even friends. She says she's bored and lonely, and she's looking forward to seeing me at Gunnell's birthday party. That's right, Gunnell is about to turn 15. She'll be Duchess of Sudbury, but for real now. For real seas. This other letter must be my invitation to her birthday celebration next week. Gwenelle and I were friends at school, and this will be a big event, but it's also a long way to travel. A lot of things can happen on the road. Uh, divination failed. Mm, last time we didn't go, we sent the regrets, and I don't think that went over well, but... I don't know. Is it a good idea? Our divination failed. Maybe we should have had more divination. Well, that's water under the bridge. I think I'll stay here because we are, well, we're fairly important in the kingdom right now. I don't like to like toot my own horn and all that sort of thing, but the future queen might need a bit of caution at a time like this when she's almost about to be uh, um, crowned. And I think it is a very long way to go, so I don't think I should do that. I'd better stay here. She won't like it, but you know, let's see, we need to be angry, you people, because uh, we don't have a lot of that. Or shall I do minus one afraid? That also works. Fine, go. Alright, let's take a look at our new outfits. It's the... Tuxedo. Uh, hmm. Kind of underwhelming. I could have thought of better economic outfits. That kind of what, what I had in mind is a little bit more like the scholar's gown for economics. But then in the color that the, the tuxedo is in, with less bows, and this thing of course not being there. Okay, well fine, doesn't matter. Let's see, what shall we boost then today? We could do some more intrigue, I guess there is a good bonus on that. We should do more divination, I think. Possibly, probably. Uh, what else could we use? Well, we could use just about anything. I think we should work on our flattery and our elegance as well. We don't tend to work much on this. Let's take two days in divination just to have it there. We don't have the outfit for it, but that's fine. Let's see, just to have that underway. A little bit of divination can't hurt. Or maybe it will, I don't know. Perhaps you can see just enough to be worried and then it turns out to be nothing. Or just the opposite. Dropping your favorite plate is bad luck. A statue spontaneously shattering is a bad omen. Are there any good omens? You read about well-known signs of bad fortune, wells turning sour, dry lightning, strange fish caught in nets, malformed babies being born, and so on. Lovely. Sigh. All of my friends are at Gunnell's party, and I don't get to go. Well, you decided. Court manners failed. I sent Gunnell a letter saying that I couldn't come, but it was her mother, the Countess, who replied. Hmm. Now she's angry because she doesn't know that's how it's supposed to go, I guess. I think she's insulted that I didn't consider the event important enough to attend. Well, Countess, that's just too bad. Because we'd like to stay alive. Let's take a look. We don't have anything particular, but we could use some pressure. So let's go ahead and do the court thing. And I'm going to work in my flattery, and then we're going to try and do the thing at the treasury to try and get our lumen crystal. So our divination is okay now. So we need to work on flattery, I think. And court manners, public speaking, presence. We could do some presence. Our royal presence might be able to get us into the treasury. Why do we do one presence and one flattery? Because we have a bonus on both, so that shouldn't be too bad. Let's take a look. Uh, royal presence and some flattery will get you nowhere. Except, of course, if you are Elodie. You stare at yourself in the mirror and practice focusing and transmitting energy with only your eyes, turning the intensity of your gaze on and off at will. You practice using different styles of breathing in order to feel more energetic and to let that energy surround you for others to share. <sighs> share the energy, you guys. Visual elements are best to flatter on first meeting. They are expected or to be noticed right away. If you've spent more time with someone, suddenly complimenting their attire will ring false. Oh, on first meeting, sorry. Okay, fine. Matters have come to a crisis. Arista, Duchess of Lila, has declared civil war. What? Apparently she feels that you are a weak leader, unfit to be queen, and has managed to sway several others to her banner. Why were my people who were trying to investigate this not telling me about this? I mean, they only gave me that information once, and I told them to go out and get some more. And then they didn't come back. Who is against me? A number of minor earls and countesses, the Duchess of Mead and the Duke of Kegel. 
the Duchess of Sudbury is with Leela. But Gwinnell's my friend. Sudbury is completely surrounded by rebel duchies. She may not have a choice. There's that to consider, of course. If all your neighbors are trying to uh, start a fight and you're doing one who's not doing anything, then you might be in trouble. The situation in Hellas and Marie is less clear. Aha. What forces can she muster? And what are we still holding? We have four battalions, two companies, and one platoon. The naval side is, of course, uh, useless in this conflict. By my estimate, a risk can field five battalions, two companies, and one platoon. That's not good. It will come down to a question of strategy. There are ways to increase the number of soldiers we have available. You could offer to pardon various imprisoned criminals in exchange for military service. We should probably do that. Alright, let's do that. Criminals probably already know how to fight. Very well. Forces are in motion, but they will take time to reach their peak. Meaning we have time to learn, I guess, some more military strategy, etc. We need more willfulness and cheerfulness. Is this a good thing? This willfulness only. I think that's the only willful we can do right now. Healing and afraid. Let's do some sneaking out. In the middle of war, we're gonna sneak out. Pretty sure it's safe. Now we need to put on our military outfits. Where is it? Uh, yep, that one. Uh, there's no hat here. I'm missing the hat. Okay, let's do some extra military strategy. And logistics or battlefield medicine. Let's do both of them. They have a bonus both of them. So let's do battlefield medicine and let's do some strategy. We're working on it, guys. We're gonna do it. Let's see. Medicine. Battlefield medicine and strategy. Go. You learn that soldiers should never sleep in damp clothes or on damp ground. This is unhealthy. You learn that latrines, food waste, and burials must be kept far away from living soldiers to avoid spreading disease. All should be dug deep and covered after use. Who gets that job, hmm? You learn about how units uh, reinforce each other in the field, gaining strength through proximity and the convert or covering of weaknesses. You study the effect of different kinds of battle terrain for both offense and defense. You may now tour the barracks on the weekends. For morale purposes, I guess. The negotiator for rebels has arrived to speak with you. Surrender now and I will be lenient. She's wearing her uh, big boy and big girl military shoes today. We are not here for our surrender, we are here for yours. Oh, well, that's very nice of you. If you want to leave with your head, maybe you should have rephrased that. Relinquish the authority of the throne and you will not be harmed. Nope, this guy wants to die. The Duchess Aris and her family will rule Nova as regents. You will be allowed to maintain a figurehead title. Many lives will be spared and your domain will continue to the future in safer and wiser hands. Uh, no. I am the Queen. Since we cannot come to an agreement, we will meet you on the battlefield. Well, go ahead, diplomat. You probably won't be anywhere near the battlefield. I have a question mark for myself. Oh, look at that. I didn't see that. Princess Nova, 814, betrothed to Tellerist. Father Jocelyn, blah, 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 blah. Mother Fidelia, who is dead. Maternal uncle Armand. Maternal uncle Laurent. I haven't seen him around at all. Duke of Merva. Okay, cool. Fine. Usually when a woman tells you, fine, it's not fine. But let's go take a look at the uh, barracks. You are impressed by the discipline of the loyal Novan troops, but the responsibility for their lives weighs heavily on their shoulders. There are approximately four battalions, two companions, or two, co yeah, two companies, and two platoons under your direct command. Two platoons? I thought we had one. Oh, uh, one platoon is probably the uh, prisoners that were uh, released from jail. Okay, so what shall we learn? Uh, while we are still... Oops, skills. Yeah, at war, shall we do some more logistics? Let's do a bit of logistics. Might help a little bit of that. Why not? Let's see now. Da -da -da, factory, special decoration. None of this will help particularly. No, let's do some logistics then. And some more battlefield medicine. Or will this be a wasted effort? Because this one didn't go higher than 50 because the others weren't very high. Or is it only because foreign intelligence wasn't so high? I don't know. Let's just try a battlefield medicine and let's try a logistics one. Or shall we just go in on strategy and logistics? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go all military today. Let's do strategy and logistics and then hope for the best. You study the power of arranged weapons from arrows to thrown fire and sand. Sand? And how the threat of such attacks can shift the enemy's response. You study the use of cavalry in battle as well as the costs and benefits of traveling with large animals. Okay, 
longer angry, so I guess that's a good bonus. You learn about the support costs you created by supports. The more equipment you have, the more people and animals are needed to move them, and then those people and animals are also need will also need to be fed and equipped. You learn about the difficulty of obtaining new supplies from the field. Enemy civilians may hide or destroy supplies rather than let them fall into your hands, and friendly civilians may not stay friendly if robbed. No, that's usually a thing. Most people don't like to be robbed. Funny how that works. War rages for control of Nova. As defending queen, you are required to take personal control of your forces. Battles are won and lost. Fallen soldiers decorating the landscape. The final outcome is a victory for your side. Your forces sweep through the rebellious duchies and are met with cheers by the local population. Aris, the ringleader, is executed. Oh, that wasn't on my command. And the other rebels forced to pay tribute to keep their holdings. Of course, there is also a cost paid in lives. You... Oh good, I managed to save a few. Your medical training helped you to preserve the lives of some of your wounded soldiers and their captive foes as well. Total casualties were one and a half battalions on your side and one and a quarter battalions among the rebels. Your stronger position and strategy made you able to win despite your losses. Of course, there are no more rebel soldiers now. There are once more you or they are once more your loyal subjects. Okay, great. All right. Now let's uh, make us more cheerful, I guess, and less angry. Should we just go for here? Minus one angry. Sure. Tend the service as your uh, hands are soaked with blood. Okay, I think I'm going to call it here for now, because we're doing shorter episodes for November and possibly also for the rest of the uh, months to come, if uh, I'm still playing this game in the months to come. And I think that might be good, actually, to keep the focus and the speed going, etc, etc. So, I'm going to say thanks for watching. I will see you next time, and bye-bye for now.